This video will introduce you to the new NHS MSK Decision Support Tools, their purpose and content. There are four MSK Decision Support Tools focusing on Carpal Tunnel Syndrome, Dupuytren's Contracture, Osteoarthritis of the Hip and Osteoarthritis of the Knee. The main aim of the tool is to facilitate informed shared decision making, empowering patients to contribute as equal partners in their care planning. They ensure consistent messages about treatment options, including risks and benefits, and are provided by all healthcare professionals, potentially improving appropriateness of referrals. The hope is that patients will feel increasingly satisfied with consultations. Each tool provides a patient-focused overview of the condition with worded explanations and pictures. There is further condition-specific information at the end of the tools for those who wish to read further. This includes useful resource links. Treatment options are clearly displayed with information about interventions, indications and expected improvements. For interventions where sufficient data is available, potential benefits are displayed as a rate of success out of 100 people. The potential risks of treatment options are also clearly displayed. There are sections in each tool to help patients summarise their own thoughts and wishes regarding their condition. This may help guide which treatment options could be most beneficial. As an orthopaedic surgeon, I see great value in these decision support tools. They provide a good overview of treatment options for four common musculoskeletal conditions, supported by risk and benefit statistics. This enables the patients to take ownership of their care keeping them firmly in the driving seat. Having this conversation at an early stage in a patient's care journey can potentially reduce rates of secondary care referrals. I encourage patients to read the relevant tool prior to attending my clinic, which has improved the quality of my consultations. As a clinician in busy GP surgery, I often focus on the provision of high quality evidence-based care and can sometimes overlook individual patients' preferences. The tools allow me to use my time efficiently to confidently address my patients' ideas, concerns and expectations, whilst at the same time offering them sound clinical advice. In summary, the tools have been published to improve your conversation and empower patients to take part in the shared decision-making process. Please click through to the Sway site, which will provide further patient education resources that you may find helpful to share following the consultation.